world. This I know. I was driving that van. I know what happened. God saved my life. God saved my brother's life. Last time I was in a car accident like that, it was five cars involved, and everybody died but the people that was in my whip. My God is an awesome God, and he reigns. And let me tell you something. This is what I told my brothers, and I'm going to keep it real. I'm not the type of person that said, oh, it's be you know, God loves me more because he saved my life. I don't know the other people's relationship with God. And God loves them just as much as he loves me. And check this out. If we had all died in that van a couple days ago, he would have got much glory from that. Because six of his children died in the line of fire. And if only one of us had died, he still would have got the glory because we wouldn't have stopped. We would have sent some money home for the funeral and kept it pushing and his family would have known what time it is. We don't break stride. We don't look back. We don't turn back. Those who look back are not even fit. Are not even worthy. So I'm going to ask you, what's the accident in your life that's going on right now? Because you got a decision to make. I'm not saying this to be boastful or prideful. I kid you not. As the van flipped, as soon as it hit the ground and I was able to get out the van, the first thing on my mind is how do we get this thing turned over so we can get to Colorado Springs? Because this is the thing, man. I'm really beefing with my enemy. And I pray. He... I refuse to let him get glory in anything. Yeah, yeah. I give him ownership of nothing. He created nothing, but he tries to pervert everything. It's our job to contend for purity, contend for righteousness, contend for holiness, contend for justice, contend for the gospel. And if you're not involved, Get involved. I'm not here to talk you down, beat you up. We just here to right the wrong. In my life too, and I got problems. I got issues. But he reigns, and he's bigger than that. And I can never outsin what he did on the cross for me. But I don't take that as a license to just act any old kind of way because I love my father. And you're not going to purposefully live a lifestyle that hurts someone that you love. So if you don't know what God likes, find out. If you don't know what God loves, find out. He loves righteousness. He loves holiness. He loves virtue. He loves truth. Repeat this. This is what's crazy. You are none of that, but he loves you. I am none of that, but he loves me. But if I don't let go of the sin that he hates, if I don't denounce it, if I don't step out from under the lordship of my flesh and bow my knee, and surrender myself and commit myself to the God that loves me. I'm doomed. And I deserve it. No one in hell doesn't deserve it. And no one in heaven does. But he's just and he's merciful. At the same time. He's Alpha and Omega at the same time. And we've been bought. And we are his property. But he calls us his children. Amen?